In this video, we will learn how objects can communicate with each other. I have here a program with two objects. Both objects are downloaded from the media library. One object is an alien and the other one is a button. Thereof, I want to make a little control. When I press the button, the alien should move up. This means that the alien must know from somewhere that the button was tapped. The objects must communicate with each other. For this, I first go to the scripts of the button object. The first two bricks are only for the position of the button on the screen. They place the button underneath the alien. Which brick do I need next? If I tap on the button, something should happen. Therefore, I need the brick when tapped. Now the button must inform the alien somehow that he got tapped. A way for doing this would be that the button is sending a message to the alien whenever he's tapped. We can achieve this with the brick broadcast. The message which will be broadcasted isn't defined yet. For this reason I tap on new message and new. In my case, the message should be move up. So this message will be sent to every object when the button is tapped. Now I need to go to the alien object to specify what it should do when it receives the message. For this, I pick the brick when you receive. When the alien receives the message move up, it should do something. The something I need to program again. I pick the glide brick two times because if the button is tapped, the alien should move up but also down again. Let's test the program. It works. When I tap on a button, the alien moves up. The objects communicate with each other. So we learned that in order for objects to communicate, we only need these two bricks. 